How do you edit a music file and tweak it with audio effects? I'll show you now. So I've added my music file into the timeline and added markers on the downbeats of the sections I want to cut out. I then cut at those marker points and give each section a color so it's easy for me to find them later when I'm mixing. I then move the sections down the timeline and make space for the loop I'm going to work on. Then I'll copy the loop section and paste it straight after it. Now is a good time to play the loop to check if it actually does loop. Yep, that loops, so we're good. I'm not going to add any audio transitions for this loop because I don't think it needs them. Let me just move that green section out of the way and make more space for the loop I'm working on. I'll explain what that section is in a bit. I'll then copy and paste these loops a couple more times and change their colors so I don't get confused on what loop I'm actually working on. I want to add my first effect on loop two, bar three of loop two. So I'll add markers and count bars whilst the music plays. One, two, three, four. Then I'll zoom in slightly and adjust that third bar marker just so I can get the perfect downbeat. I'll zoom in a bit more. I'll move the marker back or forth dependent on how off I was. Then I'll play the file to check it. As you heard, that hit perfectly on that third bar. So my next step now is to cut at that third bar and move that section to a new track. This is only because the effects that I want to add to this will be independent of that main music file. And this is the channel that will hold all the effects for that section I just cut out. And I'll rename this to loop FX1, but you can call it whatever you like. Then I'll click on that top arrow or triangle and add my first effect. And the first effect I'm adding is the parametric equalizer, but you can choose a different one if you want. The reason why I'm choosing this is because I like the look and sound of its presets. Yes, I am shallow, but really, I do like this plugin and the way the presets sound. And the preset I'll use is right at the bottom of the list called Old Time Radio. I'm using this preset because you can clearly hear the effect in full force when I play the file. And if I play this now, You don't have to use an equalizer in your mix. Just get crazy and creative and use whatever sounds good to you. And I'll show you the effects that sounded good to me next. I've copied the loops a few more times and added in effects to make them sound slightly different. I've also labeled these in the mixer, as you can see. Loop FX2 was that green section I was moving around earlier on and I've added it in to the end of loop four at bar three after editing it. And if I play this now, it sounds completely different to loop FX1, which is good because your music will always end up sounding fresh. Before I play loop FX3, I'm just going to scroll right to the top and show you the effects that I've added to it. The first effect is a free plugin by Isotope called Vinyl and it's just a vinyl simulation plugin that will make your audio sound like an old, battered record. It's free, it's nice, so go check it out. And straight after, I added a low pass filter and I added automation on both plugins. But how do I automate and how do I add keyframes? <laughs> Don't worry, I got you. Press this wrench icon at the top of your timeline and select show audio waveform and show audio keyframes. Then, Expand that track on the timeline, press this button and select what you want to keyframe. Then with the pen tool, start adding in keyframes on the audio file. Let's now return to the main video. I'll play this now so you can hear the effects with automation. Loop FX4 has another low pass filter with automation on it. See, automating a filter on your sound helps with adding some movement to it. So I'll play this now and let it continue into the section straight after it.
that section you just heard was the one that I cut out earlier. I just brought it back in to end the music. I then cut a bar eight and moved the section to a new track. To let the audio trail off without having a sudden ending, I added a reverb on that channel. You could even use a delay effect, but it's not as simple as just adding it on that channel like the reverb is. I'll show you what I mean in a second. But first, let's play the reverb ending and count bars again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me now show you what I mean if I used a delay effect. So if I add a delay to that end effects track and play the file, the delay just stops and doesn't carry on. So how do you fix this? By increasing the length of the end effects section, but there are a few more steps in between. So the first step is to nest the file by control clicking it and selecting nest. I'll rename this to delay. The second step is to click on the new item button, select black video and press OK. Double click that nested sequence and drag the black video into it. The final step is to go back to your main sequence and increase the length of that nested sequence. Then play the file. The delay can be made to however long you want by adjusting the settings inside the plugin or effect. I hope this video made it a little clearer on how to edit and process a music file. And in the comments below, let me know all the crazy and creative effects that you use to process your audio file. And if you liked what you just watched, give the video a thumbs up and please subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you soon.